our Lord. staircase to nowhere photo that was featured in the auction to benefit Pavarello. The host is Jim Hay. Our auctioneer is AJ, and our next auction is going to be on January 7th to benefit kids in distress in all matters. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Mr. Jim. He's the uh, director yeah, of fundraising for Parella. Hi, everybody. Thank you for coming tonight. Um, as AJ said, Father Bill Collins, he's, he's in the hospital right now, um, and uh, he's not doing well. Um, what I wanted to do, and, and since this is our first, this is our first auction here, is to quick give everybody an idea about Parella. I know that everybody here, um, job boys, we all know job boys. I couldn't, I couldn't start my day without it. Um, so without further ado, in 1986, early 87, um, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the man in the flock uh, that Father Bill was learning, uh, that was learning his ways under came to him and said, Father, I need you to do me a favor. And Father Bill said, what's that one see here? He said, he goes, these boys are at the hospital. This is in Carroll Point Hospital back in the day. And he said, uh, they're sick. We don't know what's wrong with them. Um, they've got some type of thinning disease. Back then, they didn't have a name for it just yet. And uh, Father Bill said, sure, Monsignor Aldo. He had no idea what he was getting involved in at that point. Several weeks later, distraught and beside himself because he didn't have too many people to turn to to help him because the thinning disease was getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, he called a friend of his up, uh, Tom Smith, who's now the CEO of, of uh, Pavarello, and said, uh, Tom, I need to speak with you. I'm distraught. I, I, I've got to talk to somebody. And Tom came over to his house, and, and they sat down, and they started drinking a little bit of wine, and he was telling them the story about these, these young boys, and they were boys, that were dying and passing away. They'd get sick one day, and a week later, they were dead. Um, Tom said, geez, because, you know, I hope whatever I can do, I, you know, we'll reach out to my friends. And he uh, said, what do we need to do? He goes, right now, he goes, I've got some boys that are doing okay. But they're going to get out of the hospital. Their families left them. Look, their lovers left them. Uh, their friends don't want to have anything to do with them. People that they've known for years have went, oh, what's wrong with you? And uh, it was right about this same time. It was late November, early December. And they said, they have nowhere to go. They have no food, they have no money. They've been in the hospital, they've been sick without work for, for so many months. And uh, so Tom said, hang on a second. He picked up the phone off the wall, one of those old, you know, bell phones and went, hey, uh, get over here right now, bring so-and-so, grab such and such, and come over here, I need to see you guys. And uh, they sat down and they started talking about it and they said, well, let's do something. And Tom reached into his pocket and he said, I got $47. How much you got, Father? He, $42. Michael, how much you got? Boom. Nine guys started the Pomerolo symbol, the food bank. 